I chose Flowers for Algernon by uh, Daniel Keyes, and it's a sci-fi novel. It was published in the late 50s, and it is the story about a guy named Charlie, and Charlie's a 35-year-old man. He has an IQ of about 68, and the book itself is in the format of a journal that he's keeping. And the reason this is interesting and important is when he starts out, uh, the the writing is really tough to read because he doesn't spell very well, he doesn't have good grammar, and he gets involved in a science experiment where the scientists actually do an operation on his brain in order to improve his intelligence. The name Algernon is actually the name of a lab rat that has also undergone this experience, and it's kind of like a week ahead of time of Charlie, and um, so he's already progressing, he's solving mazes a lot faster, and, um, and Charlie can watch him and see what's going on with him, and it's this great narrative tool for foreshadowing. Um, you see what's happening to the mouse, and you have an idea of what's going to happen to Charlie, and he does too. And he starts pursuing romantic relationships as well. He is very attracted to one of the female researchers um, involved in his experiment. Her name is Miss Killian. Or Ms. Killian. And, um, and she spurns him. He ends up having a uh, sexual relationship with his neighbor, Faye, who is a bohemian artist and uh, paints paintings in her apartment uh, with no clothes on. And that is the reason this book was banned, was because of this tiny sliver of, um, it's not even that like graphic or erotic, but because there is that element of sexuality in it, a lot of schools um, yanked it from their curriculum. It also um, really taught me about that bullying, the root of bullying often starts with fear and lack of understanding. Um, and that Charlie in this book, he experiences both ends of the intelligence spectrum. So at 68, he wasn't terribly happy. At 185, he was also not terribly happy. And it just showed me that, you know, even having an incredible uh, high level of intelligence didn't necessarily guarantee that you were gonna have a good life. And I think, and I wish I could have found this quote. There's some quote where Charlie says, you know, having, having intelligence without having um, human relationships is, you know, is worthless, basically. And so that really helped me try to identify friends who were true um, and to, even if I didn't have that many of them, at least they were, they were really good friends. I don't personally care one way or another if they find a list of top 100 banned books and, and start progressing through them. Um, I actually looked through the list myself and I didn't find a lot that I had read, but the ones that I had read, I was like, oh, that's a book that I really liked and really meant a lot to me. And I would really be angry if somebody took that um, possibility away from me. My name is Audra Loyal. I work as an adjunct librarian at the Missoula College Library, and I read banned books.